No big eye, no little Jews. We're all nothing. Yeah, that's it. I found the level at the foot of the cross, and I found it that way every step of the way. Well, not every step, but a few times I tried to get up and take some of the other steps. And the Lord said, no, it's back down the left side. Amen. Amen. You don't fit anywhere else. Yeah. Amen. He's talking to me. Maybe he's talking to you too. Okay. James chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. From whence come wars and fighting among you? You can tell James is talking to that. Yes. <laughs> come in not hence even of you. Lust and war in your members. You lust and have not. You kill the desire to have. You cannot obtain. You fight and war. Yet you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss. Yep. That ye may consume it upon your lust. And then James, as I said last night, he just gets kind of rough. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. Yeah. Mm. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity <coughs> with God? Listen, uh, he's talking to Christians. Uh, yes, sir. Just like worldlings uh -huh. out there. You, you know what worldlings are. That's what you and I were before the Lord saved us. Yeah, right. We were just part of the world. Going yeah. downstream with the rest of the sewage of sin in the world. That's yes, right. The lust of the yeah. flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Not of the Father, it's of the world. Yeah. It doesn't fit with us. But can you imagine there are some times that Christians, if you can imagine this, uh, that uh, act just like the world. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. Christians that have a little side thing going on with the world and the flesh. Uh oh. And uh, uh, that's what he's talking about. He said, uh, You fuss and you fight, and uh, the average Baptist church uh, jockey for position, you know, and priority and prominence and that kind of thing. And, and, uh, and then you fight and and he said the whole time you haven't even asked him. You could have prayed about it. You could ask him for it if it was really that important instead of fighting and fussing over it. Yeah, I imagine. I've right. never heard that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, and then he said, yeah, sometimes you do ask. But you're just doing it so you can consume it upon your lots. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, he's talking pretty direct to them. Yeah, right. Amen. Uh, of course, that's him to them, not to us, of course. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Help us. That's our cabin. Okay. <laughs> he said, Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. He just lined up with God's enemies as one of them. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us, the Holy Spirit dwells in each believer. And he longs over us jealously. He longs over our, our attachment to Christ, our affection for Christ, our full de devotion to Christ. <laughs> Amen? He longs over that. Uh, uh, and uh, he said, when that happens, if you say you're miserable, uh, and that's, of course, the only person that's indwelt by the Spirit of God is somebody that's saved. Right. It's everybody that's saved, by the way. Right. Well, right. Uh, you can't live like you used to because he's, he's greedy. Yeah, right. that's, that's right. right. That's right. He's that's greedy. Right. Yes, and uh, when, when, when he's not happy, you're miserable. Yeah. And you, yeah. you got to fake it. You just got to fake it. There's a lot of Baptists, like one preacher said, ought to be in Hollywood. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm talking about the, the, you know, you just you have to fake it. But after a while, you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm just trying to help that crew. Yeah, sure. Amen. Yes. Uh, and uh, he, he said, don't you realize that you're miserable because he's miserable inside of you? The spirit that dwelleth in us. Lusteth to envy, he longs over us jealously. All right? But it doesn't have to be that way that you're miserable because of your sin and his being grieved inside of you. But he giveth more grace. You yes. have yeah. more grace yes. instead. Uh, 
Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. That's right. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Yeah. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning yeah. for sins. And your joy to heaviness over your sins. Yeah. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Yeah. 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 Lord, we yeah. thank you for the word of God. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you for the amazing saving grace of God that we encountered at the foot of the cross. How that you called us long before we heard and uh, you got us to that place. And, uh, and, and Lord, we thank you for having many provision for us 2,000 years ago through the blood of your son, even as was sung and brought before us so well. How precious your blood is to us, Lord Jesus. <coughs> You saved us, and uh, we met your grace, and we're grateful. Uh, but we pray now that you continue to enlighten us and help us. I, I need strength and wisdom and power. Heavenly Father, I, you know me. It doesn't matter how uh, others may view me. What matters is you, you know me. And uh, I stand in great need of your grace, your wisdom, your power to preach tonight. I pray you bless my brothers and sisters. Meet the need of each one here tonight in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Well, in this passage, uh, just, just two things by way of review. We started last night and dealing with this subject. And, and uh, uh, I, you know, I, I, I knew about the grace of God in salvation. Uh, I was already saved, baptized, had surrendered to preach, and was pastor in the church. And uh, I finally asked one of my mentors uh, about this thing about grace. Said, I, you know, I know what saving grace is, but you know, like Peter said, but grow in grace. And uh, yeah. after you're saved, you can't get any more saveder than you were when you got saved. Right. Right. So we're not talking about that. Exactly. Right. What, what's he? What, how is he? Is it, how is it used in that in that sense? What does the grace of God mean there? He said. He said it's the influence of God. Okay. And I thought, huh? The influence of God. It, it is. It is God's ability uh, for for our inability. It's right. God's can do for our can't do. Right. Right. It is His, as they sang so well, it is His touch. Yeah. And anybody who's been touched in, in grace, in salvation, amen, yeah. uh, they wanted to touch Him again. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not that yeah. you get saved again, but you get touched a lot of times. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on. Oh, I need His touch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. touch. Yeah. 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 All along the way. Yes. I need mean, his touch. That's right, Come on. And uh, so we're talking about uh, it's it's what God can do. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, he said in verse 10, and he shall lift you up. Yes. Now that's going against gravity. <laughs> yes. It's also going against spiritual gravity. Right. right. Yes. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Yeah. If he's ever lifted you up, uh, uh, you wanted to keep lifting you yes, up. Right. 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 Amen. Keep yeah. yourself, you realize that you keep going down. Amen? Yes, sir. Well, uh, uh, the uh, the other thing I said last night that I want to say again, I, I, this this whole study came out of uh, this whole uh, study of the more grace. It just it came out of of, uh, of of me going through a certain experience and and I, I tried to mind the Lord for once. And uh, and afterwards I was standing in my office and looking out the window and it was as if the Lord said, You liked that, didn't you? And uh, I said, Yes sir, I like that. And that was as if he said, That was my grace. That was your grace. And then immediately it came right back to me. 
He said, I've got more grace. Yeah. 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 Amen. Everything in me was saying, sign me up. Amen. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, sign me up. God's presence, God's power, God's providence. God's infilling, God's enabling. We're, we're talking about the grace of God. And you know, when, when, uh, when the church meets on a regular basis or when we meet together in, in meetings like this, it's just God's children lining up to get more grace. That's right. That's right. Amen. Uh, I mean, more than we knew existed before. That's exactly yeah. right. More, more than we ever experienced up to this point. More than we ever dreamed of, and more than we could ever deserve, and more than we, more than, more than enough to meet every need. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I, and you know, uh, this also had an, another problem in, in studying this. Another verse kept coming back to me. Uh, it's it's in John. If you go with me, look at two verses in, in John chapter one. John chapter one. Yes. The subject of the grace of God used this way. I, I want you to see in John chapter 1. Now the Apostle John is talking about John the Baptist in verse 15 at first. Yes, sir. When he says, John the Baptist, okay, John, bear witness of him. That is the word of God, the Lord Jesus, God the Son. John bear witness of him and cried, saying, This is he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. Right. Right. All yeah. right. Uh, even though I was born first, uh, he's above me. Amen. Right? Yeah. Before he was before me. Yeah. He literally meant that. Yes, sir. In the beginning was the Word, and the yes. Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. I'm going to say it's a little bit before John the Baptist. Right. Amen. Well, without going into all of that, the very, the very next verse he says about the Lord Jesus and of his fullness have all we received yeah. Yeah. and grace. For grace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And grace for grace. Yeah. What does that mean? Here we go. Grace yeah. for grace. Yeah. That's right. Here cool. we go. I'm on a trail now. And uh, I know it has something to do with that word for. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, when I looked up the word for, the word behind that word is the, is the word anti. You know, like somebody is... Uh, anti-war they're against war okay it's that same word anti it's, I don't want you to confuse with ugly I'm talking about uh, anti uh, it, 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 anti is the preposition and, and uh, it, it means it, it's used as uh, against Okay, I mean, uh, one is anti the other, you're against the other. Well, you got, in this verse, if you apply it that way, look that way, you've got grace against grace. I'm not real smart, but Brother Ellis, I figured this thing out, I know who's going to win. Right. Amen. 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 I'm glad you remember. Okay, <laughs> I'm talking about the grace win. I, I was uh, I, when I was in the in the army. I took a short leave on a side trip to uh, to Tokyo, Japan, and, and had some friends there that wanted us to go on the uh, they call it the bullet. Now this is back in nineteen. I don't know, tell you, nineteen sixty-nine. I believe that summer of sixty-nine. Uh, don't don't uh, hold me to that, but I believe it was about there. And. Uh, uh, and while we're, uh, we're going downtown Tokyo to, to ride the bullet, now I'm, I'm thinking this doesn't sound real safe. And uh, they kept talking about the bullet. And uh, it was uh, Japanese mass transit. You know how fast they're, they, they were the first ones to develop those monorails and those fast 
trains and whatnot, and, and uh, we're going to ride that boat. I'm thinking, okay. Uh, and when we got there, the uh, first thing I thought was, we're not riding on a bullet today. Because it was a seething mass of humanity, okay, between us and where that train was, where we were supposed to get on. And, uh, uh, and we got the tickets, and I'm thinking, well, it's not going to happen today anyway. And the next thing I know, we're in a flow. It's not water, it's people pushing us. And we're just moving in that direction. And uh, uh, when I got within about, uh, oh, probably 50 feet of it, uh, I noticed that car was packed like sardines. And, uh, but they're still moving us in that direction. And, uh, and, and when we got, you know, about 10 feet away, then I saw him. And uh, he was a professional meat packer. <laughs> and he's at the door, and he's packing them in. And next thing I knew, I was a packer. I was a package, being packed in with the rest of the packages. And uh, when I got in there, the first thing I'm looking for, I'm thinking, bullet is going to start off fast. I better have something to hold on to. There's nothing to hold on to. I don't think it's going to stop fast. I need something to hold on to. There's nothing to hold on to. But in a few minutes, I realized why. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going anywhere. I, I mean, I had, the, I had the, somebody up against me on this side, some, somebody up against me on this side, on this side, and two more in the back. <laughs> You, you, you see, you see what I'm saying? I, I'm talking about I, I'm packed in by the grace of God. Amen. Grace up against yeah. me here. Grace up against me there. Grace up against me. You see, I'm not going anywhere. Amen. Amen. That's how good my God. Yeah. He's yeah. going to save me by that grace, and and, and I got I got brought into that grace. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, I, I, it, it's okay because it's grace that I'm packed in with. But the word uh, doesn't just mean against, it also means opposite, that little word anti. It, it also means opposite. And uh, when I realized that, I'm looking at, uh, I think it was W.E. Vine, his expository word dictionary, and uh, I'm seeing more, and I'm seeing more, my mind, that little word anti. It also, it also means opposite. <laughs> Took me back in my mind to a shopping trip I really didn't want to be on. I was with my mom. And uh, we were going to get a suit for daddy for Christmas, as I recall. And uh, I'm probably about nine years old. And uh, uh, I hope I wasn't 14 or 15. Anyway, I was nine years old. And, and I'm with mom. And she's looking for a suit. And back then, you talked to the salesman for a while. And you look at some more talk to them and, you know and uh, and, and I, I was I was bored to death <coughs> and so I'm looking around for something to do they don't have any toys in the men's department I'm sorry uh, the Hudson department store up in uh, uh, Ann Arbor Mission Detroit area okay so we're we're up there and, uh, and, and I'm trying to figure out something to do because this is taking a while and I can tell it's not going anywhere fast. Right. And uh, so, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, first I'm playing hide and seek with myself in and out of those suit racks, you know. But they stopped that because it was fun. All right. I had to do that, all right. So I'm walking around and then I saw somebody over here and I thought, well, who's it? And I looked and it was me. <laughs> It was a mirror. And I'm looking at that mirror, and uh, I've always been enchanted with mirrors. Hey, <laughs> yes, all right, all right. So I'm looking at that mirror, and while I'm looking at myself in that mirror, as I walk over to it, I'm realizing there's somebody over here looking at me. So I looked over there, and it was me. And so now I got me opposite me. Opposite me. Okay? And then I looked over on this side, there's uh, something drew my attention, and it was me. And I got me, opposite me, opposite me, 
opposite me. And then I began to stand back and to look, and behind me was another me looking at me, opposite me, opposite me, opposite me. And I'm telling you, the grace of God lined up opposite us on this side, opposite us on that side. Oh. Come wait, just wait, lined up coming into our life, and it's no image. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. It's a reality. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're talking about grace, opposite grace. He said, preacher, that stretching it, that's okay. My my mind just was exercised. You had to suffer the consequences. <laughs> I feel better now. All right? Uh, I feel better now. Uh, well, it's also the word in addition to, anti. It's also yes. used as in addition to. Right. Yes, sir. You know, kind of like when you get apple pie and somebody brings out the ice cream. Amen. And they, they give you the ice cream in addition to uh, yes, the, uh, uh, you know, stacked on top of uh, that apple pie. They put that ice cream. Yes. And, uh, and what do you call that? Uh, pie. Hello. I, it's good. That's what I know. Yes, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you put another piece of pie on top of that ice cream. Amen. Oh, amen. Lord. We're going to have bad to shout. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you put another dose of ice cream on top of that. Yeah. Oh, amen. my. Oh. I'm calling me sick, but that's a good way to go. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm, I'm talking about grace on top of grace on top of grace on top of yeah. grace. And yeah. other than fat thing, and no let up. Amen. No yeah. let up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He has that grace for us. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I also saw where it was used in the book of Hebrews. And I'll just give you this uh, about the Lord Jesus in Hebrews 12 and verse 2. Who for the joy that was set before him. Yeah. Okay? He endured the cross. Yes. All right. yes. Who for the joy that was set before him. Yes. Uh, I think you'd agree with me that it carries the idea of with a view to. Right. Looking forward to. Right. Amen. Right. So what you got what you got here is grace uh, uh, it, it, with a view to more grace. Yes. With a view to more grace. Yes. Yeah. And then with a view to more grace. Yes. Uh, grace for grace. And all of it's in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Of the fullness of all we received in grace for grace. Amen. 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 With a view to more grace. Yes. It is also in the place of it is the word for substitute. Yes, sir. Well, uh, without going into uh, <laughs> the tender part of that particular uh, word uh, uh, in the place of substitution, I, 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 I want to tell you about a, a woman in my home church in Mississippi. She was, uh, <coughs> well, uh, she was just precious. She really was. Right. She was a... Uh, uh, a widow woman. You talk about a demonstration of the grace of God herself. Her her son, uh, only son, uh, was a was just really really gifted musically and really really saturated with it. And uh, when when he didn't even realize he was that close to the the train tracks and and uh, the train ran ran him down and killed him and. And, uh, but did she quit God? No. No. Did, was she ever better? I didn't know about that particular facet of her life for many, many, you know, many, many months after I got to know her. And uh, she was the one shouting at Camp Zion and waving her shawl and praising God. Amen. And that's Miss Ducey. Well, Miss Ducey loved people. Her husband had died a few years before that. And, and uh, she just loved to be with the saints of God. And uh, they were gathered together for a cookout, uh, and uh, and uh, she just loved to talk, and she just really loved to talk. I said she loved to talk, amen. Uh, and uh, she uh, she was enjoying it so much uh, that she had her paper plate and her hamburger, and she had bit, bit into it I think one time, and there was a sneaking deacon in our church. Uh,